my family members who have had to bear the brunt of the pandemic. I'm glad to be with you. I thank all those who by phone calls, by messages, got in touch and sympathized with both me and the entire family. By the special grace of God, I went in with nine, there were nine that went, including myself. Yesterday, three of us were discharged. By the special grace of God, I believe that all the others will join later this evening. very positive that the results have been coming out in batches and that at least for the last seven days I'm aware that everybody was feeling strong, healed and hearty and it's just the delays uh, in not death of uh, test kits, the intervals between the release of results, uh, which is extended, breakdown of uh, equipment in the laboratories, the fatigue and overwork by members of the medical team that have had to handle not only uh, ourselves at the isolation center, but indeed about five of the six neighboring states. I should particularly thank the Secretary to Government of the Federation and the Chairman of the PTF. I must thank the Minister of Health. I must place on record the Director General of the NCDC, the Chief Medical Director of the Gwagwalada, uh, the uh, Abuja University Teaching Hospital, Gwagwalada, and most especially. Dr. Tahi, that stayed with us. They have, these are great eminent Nigerians. These are people who put their lives online at all times to ensure the well being and welfare of the ordinary man. I did not go into Gwagwalada as High Chief Raymond Dockers, I went there as an ordinary citizen who complied because I wanted to see what the ordinary man goes through. There's no gain say that quite the numbers in Nigeria of the COVID-19 positive people have been rising. There is no gain say that our medical personnel, as few as they are, are very professional and can be compared with anyone in any part of the world. But I still have doubts in my mind. I still want to be properly educated. I am a bloody mechanic. What is the difference between COVID-19, which is a virus, and malaria? which is mosquito. <laughs> because every medication, every medication we were given was malaria medication. 
even some people went before being told that they were COVID-19 positive. They were tested in reputable laboratories in Abuja. They were tested in hospitals in Abuja. And what they found was that they had a lot of malaria parasites in their bloodstream. So when did malaria become synonymous with COVID-19? That is food for thought. <laughs>